Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is 100 day challenge on MATLAB loop. The task for today is to find the greatest value in the given vector. Okay, so I have given three vector for the examples like x, x1 and x3. So these are the entries for the x, x1 and x3. Just have a look and I have placed the greatest value 1 at the last and in this x1 vector in the beginning itself and in the x3 vector in the middle. Okay, so for these three example, let us uh, verify how our code works. Okay, so the greatest value, I just, I, I think I don't want to uh, give a detailed explanation on this task because out of the entry, you have to find the biggest value. That's it. Okay. So now without any further delay, let us get into the coding part. So I have done the code already. So just see here, this is the code. So greater underscore x is the output variable and the function name is find underscore greater and x is the input variable. Okay, where I pass all uh, vectors one by one. So initially, when the when uh, when the code gets into the function, uh, first greater underscore x, which is the output variable, I am initializing it to one. Okay, and the uh, loops runs from one till the length of x. Okay, which is the length of the vector. Okay, so it starts from the first value and checks with the uh, greater underscore x. Okay, so if it is greater than if it is greater, okay, then it just swaps the value. Okay, so just see here. Uh, let me explain you the concept here. Like, uh, okay, so. So greater underscore 6 already holds the value. So just a second. Yes. So just, okay. So greater underscore x has the value 1. Okay. So now i takes the value as 1. Okay. So what is the x of i here? x of 1 is equal to. So what is the first value here? In the, first, in the vector 4. Yes. So x of 1 is 4. Okay, so it just compares this. Okay, greater underscore x is just compared with the x of i. So which is greater? So greater underscore x is uh, smaller and this is greater, right? So once it is a greater, then the value gets swapped. Okay, so this condition fails, right? So it comes to the else part and what happens? The x of i value just got uh, assigned to the greater underscore x. Now the greater underscore x no more holds the value of 1. It just holds the value of 4. Okay. So if it is greater, then the value just get assigned to the greater underscore x. If it is smaller, it remains same. Okay. So this is how the loop runs. Okay. So now let us run the uh, program and see. Okay. So I have already run. Let me clear it for you. Okay. Now I am just going to run uh, pass the first vector. So the answer is 1000. Right. We have got and if I pass the second vector, the answer is 250. That also we have got, right? And if I pass the third vector, the answer is 90. That's all, that also we have got, right? So have a look on the whiteboard also. So just see here. Yes, 1000, 250 and 90. Okay. So this is how the program runs. If you have any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'm ready to answer your queries. That's all for this today's task. We'll meet you in the next talk with, uh, we'll meet you in the next next task with more interesting topic till then take care bye bye